Not my, no marmor set, don't load. I don't want marmor set at this time. So, 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 and so, and so. <clears throat> so, after yesterday, last night, yesterday, yeah, yesterday's last night, whatever, failed attempt at uh, making these things. Wait a second. Wait. How did I duplicate these things? I don't recall duplicating them. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> Now, I would call this a fail, because, well, basically it's not a win. And as I said, bullions are shit. <coughs> Which basically caused this calamity. Uh, so, for the time being, I think I'm gonna skip this ever so slightly. So, I think I'll try doing the back part here. Because <clears throat> it seems easy enough. So we have this basic, basic ass shape. So the question is <clears throat> how to go about doing this? The answer is, I have no idea. <coughs> <coughs> now again, some might be like, oh, just stamp it. But when you're looking at a gun at this angle, I, I think the last thing you want to do is stamp it. It's just not an attractive looking thing to have like these cutouts this way. <clears throat> also, the bevels are going to be very, very minute. Um, oh, would you look at that? This actually goes low, so seeing as this is this here. Oh! If you're somebody working, it's going to be in order. So. Huh, oh. Huh. <clears throat> Would you look at that? So this is gonna get go deeper inside here, and this is okay. this is gonna go a bit more like this, and now it is in its correct position. Very, very good. I should duplicate it too. There we go. <coughs> I wrote. So, <coughs> this actually appears as to be two separate pieces by the line here, yet it is one piece, but. Which brings up a good question as in what the fuck even is it? <coughs> well, you can still do it in one piece and then separate it into multiple pieces. And then the cutout here, <coughs> it's gonna be interesting. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, I have the basic line here, which means it's something of this variety. I 
actually no there's like at the farther here so it's something along this line but just here not on this top part uh, <clears throat> but as you can tell this kind of should be a little bit thicker this very good now this part should be well this is about exactly what I need <coughs> and there's a line here for like the divide here so even slightly lower because I have to think about well just raise it up if it's gonna be needed but this looks like control and now here just go straight down but not at the edge because it's slightly beveled so let's This looks like it's something like this, which means this cut is somewhere around here. There we go. Okay. Now why was this looking very odd? Hello. Yes, very good. Now already this seems way too big. As you can tell this is very very much smaller but size can be adjusted for so I'm just going to well basically I just I need the entire thing. Just gonna put this in. So this looks about right. Now this feels a little bit too th mm, too much, but okay. <coughs> so we have our size, which basically tells us that this is a bit too far in, unless of course perspective is an issue. Because I think size-wise, well. It a little bit shorter but that is easily fixable because we do have the thing around here although again it could be lower which I think is the main issue it's just a bit too high so let's go like this just lower this puppy and it's something like this. This was before, so we got something like this. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Okay. Now we have this. <coughs> so this part is gonna have to be at an angle. So it now don't something like this. like this so you can safely like, extrude it inside inward intrude it whatever yes 
Very good, very good, very good. Is it a Twitch thing? Of course it's a Twitch thing. Get away. Get away, I say. thickness <clears throat> so the way to go about doing this is again like this adjusting it now just moving it so it's similar or exactly beautiful now this one we're just gonna need it to oh it's actually lower I think the back side is a bit too long, but looks of things, so no. Something like this. Although it's not way too long, it's I think, about a certain comfortable size. So, like this. Let's just get a render going. <clears throat> okay, okay. It looks off, but it's okay. It's okay. Fake. So Let's say the depth is a bit off, if not a lot off. So, <clears throat> so okay, obvious points. Let's actually, this is pretty much spot on. I'm like. Something like this, but then this makes no sense. So if I shorten it, it's somewhere around here, which, okay. You know, it should be a little bit higher. It's a little bit lower, actually. Something like this. But then this just looks weird, yet at the same time, it kind of has to go lower. That's more of this having to be higher. And appears to be much, much more beveled. The 
angle this looks a bit more aggressive so I guess this gives that a nice little look. So, did I get everything? Let's see if I got everything. Actually, let's just do it again. A little bit more in. Okay, this, I'm very satisfied with this look. So, there's obviously a divide here, like this is either something that goes on top of it. But, while I'm here, actually. Where's this? This should be less, something like this. It looks like it's actually somewhere here. This appears to be in this region. This, something like this. I think this is about it. So, okay. Mm. <coughs> hmm. This makes you wonder. So what to go about doing first? Something like this. Okay. Mm. It's things like these that make you feel alive when modeling, working with 3D. Yeah, there's nothing here now. Okay, so, but can you even tell that there's nothing here? No, you can't. Okay. So. Let's move that all. Okay, so each of these bevels will get like a specific amount of bevel. See how it reacts. Yeah, this is gonna be a mathematically amount, like given amount of bevel. So there is indeed all identical. What is going on here? Should this no. so back to it? Um, it's important just to get the, this bevel here. In these areas that are noticeable. So, 
I'm gonna have like a bevel level of two. And this much. How much is this here? Actually, is this even important? No, it's not. Go. <coughs> Looking at it from the render, I think these things are a little bit way too deep for what they are. So let's just. a bit more manageable. This looks a little bit more sane because it has the support of it, it just doesn't have the unnecessary depth. much not a little of course can become deeper as time goes by so now uh, what next, what next? So basically there has to be a divide and a breaking point between all these things um, let's, let's just of course I can break it now of course I can break it now that would be too easy Divide is somewhere along this line. There's not much of a thickness to this line. So yeah, a little bit like this. And of course when it's gonna be baked, it's probably gonna be just like, you know, flattened out, but no, I think it's gonna be better if it's like actually this. Areas like this are gonna fuck me over. Big time. 
so every angle will be fixed so it's um, nice and usable I think these things actually could be done in low poly already <coughs> so a lot of back and forth and all these things so 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 and so and so so let's cut this everything but this I just Even this has like a nice little bevel at the corner that I didn't notice. So let's do hello. This is about the same. -ish. Fuck off, Emma. Great, the one thing I didn't want, which just happened, then I moved the camera. Perfect. And fucking fantastic. Great. Great. So, let's see if I can get the camera back in its place. Yes. Yes. So this is basically done. Perfect. Super. So now this is a bit short, which means I have to extend it because it looks shorter than it needs to be actually Totally fine. Nope. No camera. Can I lock the camera? How can I lock the camera? This, this, is it smooth? Oh, it's stress. It's gonna probably break everything, but yep, broken. So, with this, we have this. It's smooth, whatever. <coughs> so, the top. Thank 
this has to be not this, but it has to be down somewhat like this. Bevel this. Get a nice little fuck bevel, but it is a bevel nonetheless. is about this yep this part is a bit more like this and I'm assuming this is exactly the same on both sides so basically I can just do one side and it's gonna look good so now this no this part has to go up to here Yet this, yet this part is almost like there's a bit of a lip or something, because it doesn't want this to go to the bottom of it. Like it's a bit on the inside. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Hmm. <coughs> also, there is a thing here, like a cut, so could this be part of one thing and not part of this thing? Because it kind of looks and feels like it, so... Hmm. Now we'll kind of explain a few things. So, 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 and so, um... How does this work? <clears throat> I'm guessing there's none of this. Because then it has the shape that I want, but it just doesn't. But if I do it like this, distance, then I can move this thing forward. But even here, it's like it's a bit weird and off. this done because this look like there's supposed to be a lip here that it extends outward yet it physically doesn't make sense interesting interesting but even for this like it goes obviously over so I think I'm gonna do Solidify. Put a minus. Where is it? Zero. Zero one. So it's like a hat, which I'm gonna extrude. So. 
go fly. But this part goes up to here. I guess I just need this, this, and this. So now it's. Mm. It is physically correct, yet it's very, very ugly. Oh, no, camera. How does the camera look? Beautiful. Nope. So we have to fix. This so that's a bit more like this. <coughs> okay, it looks already better. Where's the thing? So, now the bottom portion has to be extended inwards. Hmm. <coughs> but I think I'm just going to make it different way as in oh. let's actually delete the inside portions of this just let it go down so there's still a bit of a lip but I'm gonna make this as in one piece so this is gonna be something like this and this part is gonna go a lot of inwards we're already clashing with this part which we already learned is actually separate this so this is gonna make things easier it's gonna go down Get it down. How's this look? Not great. So let's just make this physically interesting as it should be and then we'll load somatics so straight oh this is the problem this is the issue now it should yes and it is but it's inside which is exactly what I didn't want this appears to be flat downwards. It's basically kind of impossible. Like 
this, send that off like this. So this is the top, so this is this, and just this. Yes. No, camera, don't. So look at it from here. This is gonna have to be something like this, otherwise it's physically impossible. It's slightly incorrect the way this looks, but... Hmm. I'm just gonna have something like this, basically. This doesn't go as far. Something like this, which yeah. So let's just get this lower. <coughs> let's get this to the circle part. This looks like it could work the way I understood it working. Which is basically... <coughs> this here being a divider, but I'm just gonna use it here for consistency and just because it's looks better to me this way now let's see how we can round this out so this is in the same style Actually, is it camera? Yeah, it's camera. So,
Ah, oh, shit. Or just never mind. Um, <clears throat> so if this is the area where it's gonna happen, might as well just do this. Yes, so that's exactly what I'll do. Something like this. There we go. Give it depth. So either this is too low, but I think it's pretty high enough as it is. So let's... It's actually pretty good. It's pretty good actually. Now joined, okay. Okay. This feels good. So cut this. Apply. I'm gonna cut it in half. Cursor to select it. Cursor. Uh, cursor to select it. Slash 3D margin. Cut it. Now I'm gonna add a mirror modifier. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna Actually no, it's fine, it's fine. It's totally fine. This
I don't really need this, but... Front actually, actually here. I don't need this at all. <clears throat> so one way can I do this thing here? Well, I think I can basically do the red thing here, entire area, and just extend it over to this area. This and it works. Brilliant. 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 One of the easiest things I've ever done. Front, front, beautiful. Well, oh. hey Zan, this is a two point eight. Uh, not eight one, not two eight two. Uh, it's just two point eight. The stable version, because I pretty much don't need <coughs> anything more than that. Hey, uh, hey, Soul OX, welcome to the stream. Oh, thanks for. That, you're, I think the first one that actually looked at my art station. Thank you. Cool vibes, as in uh, how do you elaborate cool vibes, as in the uh, things I did, or the stream vibes, or my stuff has never been ex uh, elaborated as in cool vibes. <clears throat> I've seen 2.A1 and 2A2, but I just have no use for them. And this is a stable release, so I'm just gonna keep working with this, especially now that I'm actually a company. I can't really risk with playing with new tools yet. But there's not really reasons to go to the new tool, like I'll be completely satisfied with 279, to be completely honest. Thanks for liking my asset. They have cool sculpting features. Uh, I don't care about sculpting in Blender. If I'm gonna sculpt something, I'm gonna do it in ZBrush. Uh, I know I can, I just don't want to. Uh, right now, there's no real feature to uh, that benefits me. As I said, that's about it. Nothing else, really. The only thing I really want is performance to be better, like <clears throat> when you reach 50,000 polygons that it doesn't start to stutter or like if you happen to have a, like a really big prop that you can still backspace out of it like I mean just go a few steps back because right now right now it's a bit painful too because it just stutters it just lags out way too much but yeah that's about it Let's, ooh, no Try this again. Hmm. Actually, what am I doing? Let, let's. See. Can I do this? I don't think I can. <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, fixed. Issue averted. Funny, two people talking at the same time randomly. That's cool. That's cool. So, Solex, how'd you find me? While I have you here, we're just browsing Reddit, not Reddit, Reddit Twitch. Thank you for the subscribe, uh, for the follow. Thank you. Just so you know, I have like a, a good schedule. I just like whenever I have time, whenever I feel like it. Cause freelancing, boy, that sure takes time. So probably streams like this are not gonna be a thing coming next week but 
Yeah, you never know. <clears throat> so let's see. Oh, cool. So the tags actually work. Oh. No, let's see this. No, this, this, this. So, okay, I guess now I can cut it up again. There's the selected rip face. There's the cursor mirror. Well, that's cool. What's your software preference? Blender, Maya, Max, Houdini, or uh, anything else? Oh, I prefer environments. God, I, I really dislike doing environments because it just... I mean, I dislike when it goes into Unreal because I'm unfamiliar with Unreal at this moment in time still. But I just like enjoy building them. The sad part is it takes a lot of time to make them. So, yeah, I kind of don't do it as often. So here we have like a bit of an issue. Mm. Two parts, yet they're supposed to be together seamlessly. So I guess I'm just like this. No, not gonna happen, boy. So. Cool. Uh, I, th I think Maya is a better modeler co compared to Cinema, but Cinema is still really good. I mean, I can't say which is better. Like, I have minuscule amounts of ex of uh, experience with with uh, Maya. All know it is. I despise it. So, if I had to learn one of these, I think I would learn Cinema. But that's just me. Oh yeah, motion graphics, that is like the bee's knees with cinema. This, I can just delete and check. <clears throat> so what got you into 3D? Just random browsing, looking at stuff, be like, yeah, I want to do that. I want to make it. <clears throat> I'm loving life for modeling and the UVing is great. Yeah, I think the UVing just got improved like the last two years, at least the way I heard it. Because before it was supposed to be abysmal. So then go to school for graphic design, but got really hooked on 3D and all of a sudden. I mean, yeah, graph 3D is graphic design and basically that's how I got into 3D. I just started working with it and I loved it more than anybody else. I even did projects for other people students in high school which luckily didn't get me in trouble but <laughs> they all knew all the teachers knew i did all this work for everybody else because i'm the only one that could that was like a fun time talk with a teacher about what, seven eight years later like yeah we knew it's fine it's high school some just do it some don't i found my passion so that was cool this is a bit off. This is a bit over. Um, okay, so apparently this has a bit of a lip. Uh, this... Okay, so... <laughs> so... 
So I think I should go back to this and make the red thing. same uh was really unsure of what i wanted to do for a while but i'm like addicted to modeling now that's basically the exact same thing like i was interested in movie making yet i or just like special effects and never, i never watched movies or were careful movies i was into graphics design like in general never got anywhere with that I'm just okay with it, at it like i can pass then just 3d something with it clicked and I just love modeling, like not even texturing, just modeling, workflow optimization. More technical, I guess. So yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with how everything turned out, to be completely honest. Makes me happy. Okay. So we got this. Uh, it is a bit... Actually, it's a bit under this thing. But the way I have this set up is... I don't know how the back looks, so... Hmm... So I can keep it as it is, or I can go up top as I thought of going, like as in a locking mechanism. As in, oh, you put this on here, you stick this in, and I think I'm gonna go that route. <clears throat> Basically, I'm just gonna push this a bit in. Even though this looks really nice and contrasting, I would argue there's like a good reason that I should do what I want to do. So let's do this. I can actually keep this. Uh, and then I can just do this. out let it go a bit down like this boom shakalaka <clears throat> I'm still terrible at texturing just really like working with complex shapes I guess <laughs> I'm not amazing at texturing I know how to texture ID map and how everything works I'm just not into I mean I understand how substance works just not as deep as I kind of should or want to but I'm getting there uh, I think I'm more of the like prep it than just somebody else make a texture for it. I'll just like slap it on and then, but I'm good at making additional changes and like personalizing everything in it. But complex shapes like this, uh, I'm not into it that much because it's a lot of work and um, yeah. <clears throat> but I'm getting better at it. And I ch specifically chose this because it's easy enough, but things like this, this, this re can really fuck you up. And yesterday when I was working on this on stream, yeah, you could tell how much frustration it was giving me. <clears throat> how am I going to do the fabric? Well, uh, I'm going to do it in Blender, probably. Just like wrap around a few things up and down here and there. <clears throat> do a little subdivision, um, like 
the uh, subdivision surface to smooth it all out, position it again, and that's it. Uh, but I might just use Marvel's Designer. Um, I don't have the license yet. I'm gonna buy it in February. But you know, wink, wink, nod, nod. I'm not gonna make money on this. So, for educational purposes only. And entertainment. And I will say that Marvelous is one of those programs that is like so notoriously difficult to get work in unofficially. And really, I don't have that much use for Marvelous Designer. It's just a thing, it's just fabric, and I enjoy working with fabrics. Like, it is a pleasure to work with those things. Like, it's so weirdly enjoyable for me. Yeah, I did a few things, like I did a few dresses, which are, some are available on my station, but some are on my Instagram, because I deleted some stuff, because it doesn't represent the quality that I do these days. But, yeah, uh, you can do some pretty complex stuff. Mm. Here. Apply. Thank you! And that's why I really enjoy Marvelous. It's just one of those things that nobody uses that much, or, you know. And especially for some things like, uh, if you see my, um, the Beneath the Waves or Under the Water, however I titled that incorrectly, if you look at the backs, actually let's go look at it together. Art Station. <clears throat> Where is it? the thing everybody gets hooked up on? Like even to this day, even though I think I can do better, but this piece of tape, <clears throat> everybody gets hooked up on this because it just looks so good. Like the wires are going here; it basically looks like it's slapped on it. <clears throat> and this is something I did in Marvelous. Basically, just took the entire model, 3D model, laid it down. Uh, made a fabric in Marvelous, just let it glide down, physics and all, bleh, solidified, we top hold in uh, ZBrush, and that's it. And the texture is actually a grid texture for a metal, and uh, it's actually two textures, I think. A metal texture, which is the grid, and then like the plasticky metal or something something with a glossy plastic cover over it, and that's the duct tape texture that I have and it's still one of those things like yeah this is the quality I want to achieve with all my things metal connector piece what do you mean metal connector um, oh doesn't really matter I don't know which metal connector piece me, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So, right now, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. <clears throat> so this I think is gonna be the first final, final thing, because I don't know how this looks, but in order to assess it, I think I'm just gonna like transform your thing, blah, blah. It has actually a bit of a bevel on the bottom, which I actually didn't notice at first, or even now. It has something on the top. It even has something here. Well, would you look at that? Would you look at that? So. Oh yeah, <coughs> the connector, yeah, those are actually planned out, as in I want to make this look modular and present it in such a way, but never did. But still, I think it's one of those things that just like, stay with you. Okay, 
go. Where am I at? Where am I at? Okay, so. I feel like this should all be beveled as in all top parts. Hell, even this. select pieces it should be the sharp angles everywhere so beneath here this this there's the wrap around areas I'm thinking when this should be beveled something like this check it out <clears throat> this gun actually is cool I wanted to do this design for a long ass time I just never had the skill or the courage to go about doing it which is why I postponed it for so long and I think I'm happy that I did because now I can stream it And yeah. There we go. Connect it straight up. So now let's just get a test. When you're going. Yeah, it looks good. I think we're gonna finish up the design of this thing so this ah, fuck I fucked up I, fu I actually fucked up this is such a basic fuck up okay so I fucked up this because No, no, I didn't fuck up. I didn't fuck up. Well, I think I did, but I did it. I didn't. Uh, uh, well, yeah, making things way out of your league is annoying. So, I would say do that a few times to see how far you're gonna go. And when you see you can't do that, go a few steps back. I did a stream like the last two months a few things like I did a train a cabin way over my league uh, actually it wasn't but it's lack of uh, lack of knowledge in Unreal so I did that didn't went as good then I made my own kitchen went way better two days of modeling two days of or let's say two weeks of streaming finished it Unreal everything uploaded great then I did a lighthouse I wanted to do just a lighthouse um, modular than the environment now the lighthouse is great but the environment isn't and that's the thing i was like oh i'm just gonna put things here it's gonna look nice no i have no experience with that so it's going smaller so now this gun i'm gonna make it completely in uh, <coughs> it's gonna have one texture everything is gonna be organized it's gonna be scaled so every texture is the same size individually named label on the texture which is something I learned from the lighthouse, so modular-ish, <clears throat> and I'm gonna light it in Unreal. So just a gun, I'm gonna make a scene out of it. Just one gun, that's it. Because I was trying too much for way too big projects, and it just didn't work. And I knew that, I just was stubborn as fuck. And now, we're back here. 
we're gonna do this and now it's gonna be just about as beautiful but maybe not as tight as I think let's see a little bit untight something like this something softer to the touch something like this is this a wise choice I have no idea transform visual transform blah 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 Now the problem is, this is very obviously... Ooh, errors. Hello, error. Let's do a few steps back. So something like this. Ultimately, I would like this to be like one smooth thing, but... I think when you put on the texture, it's gonna be unnoticeable to be completely honest. Oh. Actually, it is a bit noticeable still. Which makes me wonder should I have. So let's 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 go back a lot of steps. Let's see if it's better this way. So one, two, three. So now this is like this, which actually looks already better. What I'm going to do now is just select specific pieces. This here is broken, but nobody's going to see it. Specific pieces and areas that need a little bit of a poly boost. Let's say that these are these. I'm going to try to match this. And this already looks better because it's one flat seam. Like it's obviously made of multiple, but it's cleaner. It's, e it's going to be easier to manage. Actually, the only thing that is going to be broken is the backside. So let's just go back and fix it. third time's a charm we're not leaving anything to chance now I could also just have done it before but now this I think looks much much nicer except this what is wrong here no fuck it let's just go all in Looks just as nice. See, trial and error. Trial and error. Well, of course, there's a bit of an issue here, but hey, I think I can live with this. Uh, <coughs> so, because this is kind of like the final thing, what can I do to it? So, I don't have pimple here. So, 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 and so. Let's see. So this is kind of finalized and I would think like, okay, so basically this is something you pull out. So maybe I sh should put like these um, little things that stick out. And then a little detail here, but not too much detail because this is still not a finished thing. So one, two, three, four, five. Ok, 
Fire it up. Face. Cursor to select it. Cursor. Mirror. Select it. Watch the cursor. Yes. Okay, this is a bit unexpected. Why are you not mirroring? Oh, all transforms. Visual transform. Sorgen. To geometry. Oh. Of course. It's the little details. So like just grab it and pull it out, pull it out, eject the top thing, put it back in. It's all so nice and beautiful. So the vision is saw, no subvision, no, no, no. whatever the thing is called. Wait, it normal? Okay, so cool. Give it a one, just like cool. And then, well, later on, I'm gonna put something in the middle here, it's like a little hole with a screw, and that's gonna be it. So, it has to bolt to something. Um, I just put a subdivision surface on this one. This is this part uh, semi done. Do you notice the detail? No, you don't. Will you notice the detail? Probably later on when you're gonna look at it from very, very close. I think, yeah, this is basically the first finished, finished, although this can also be finished, finished, but. It's not really finished, finished until it's finished, done, done. So, 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 and so. Okay, so this thing is done. It's gonna have like a little thing here. <coughs> Let's adjust the screw. Okay, so with this done, it's time to tackle this thing. So this one ejects out. I think this can like get up, whatever. And this is just like a kind of, I don't know, guide where this thing should be. There are separate pieces. Because this stands still, this just goes out and up. Now it's up to not this piece, but this piece. So, in order to make this functional, let's put a solidify. 
So this is going in, which is exactly what I wanted. It's a bit messy here, but it's all gonna be fixed. So how much but one? Nah, this is this is fine. I like that it's this way. Cool. So now let's just fix it. Yesterday I did the exact same thing and it just went kaboom on everything. It just wasn't that good. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have everything try to be on this, so it's gonna have the exact same thickness all around. Now I have to select all these things and just make sure they are all... Okay, now they are all at the same thickness level. Now again, just... Okay, cool. So now... So it's all equally thick. Very good, very good. Uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. So here we have a bit of an issue, as in it doesn't know how it wants to work, and why did I delete these loops? Hmm. I think this is why it's bugging up. So let's cut it up. Let's turn the mirror off. Select all these things. Cool. Do this. Now it's not as important to get this side because I basically only need the top. Well. And I should do all of it just for consistency's sake. But it's not really that needed. It's more so for me to make sure that it all looks good. So now this is all leveled. Beautiful, so now it's all the same thickness. My phone is ringing, why is that? Nothing special, okay, good. So here you have this. <coughs> Basically, as I said, I don't have to do this, but if I wanna do like an exploded render of it, I should have this. Very, very broken. There we go. Because I don't know how much of the thing will be 
uh, like the weapon will be actually seen. And I'd rather put in the time now and make it than fix it later. Because I you know fixing takes most of the time. So this one, this, okay, there we go, so now something like this, beautiful, beautiful. Straight, pretty beautiful, pretty good. There you go. So I think this is done. Again, not all of it is going to be needed. Probably not most of it, but it's good that it exists, so it's easier for me. Like especially these holes, like. If I didn't do what I did, it's, it will probably take a long ass time to well, make it look good. So, wait a minute. Yeah, that's fine. It's a bit weird looking, but it's fine. been hour stream an hour and a half that's good that's good that's interesting so right now I'm gonna need to bevel well basically everything but how much is the question so the outside parts are gonna be beveled a little bit and this is one of the problems So when I bevel these things, it's you kind of want a continuity and like smoothness of all of it, so unless I do this. Which arguably doesn't look bad, but there are obviously areas with more bevel than others. Bigger one here. Yes, very good, very good, very good. Cause I think this is the biggest one of them. I don't really have a bevel here, which I think I should have, but. Rest here is gonna be completely fine to be completely honest. So this Starting to break here. But in terms of Ugh. Hello. What 
is wrong with you? Oh, no, I understand what is wrong. Um, so, let's do... Apply. That was beautiful. Because it was in the areas that weren't beveled, and it just looked off. Now... Apparently there are s still some issues because I can't really just delete this, so I'm just gonna do it like this. Uh, actually, I'll just do it like this by distance. No. Okay, let's do it by hand then. Fix. No, okay. Ah, here we go, the inside is um, broken. That's it. Actually, no, this is broken. <laughs> Tire inner side. Oh, actually a perfect bevel here. Literally perfect. This is going to be fixed. It's probably going to look okay. I should have just done this. So let's hope for the best. Uh, let's go top side. Yeah, looking good, looking good. There we go, perfect. Is this the best thing in the world? Probably not. Is it really, really good? Yes. Now the bevel could be different here. Could have been better. So I just put a subdivision on it, level 1, level 2 for that matter, uh, level 2 fixes a few things, <gasps> so, 0, 0 looks pretty nice too, 1, 2, <coughs> Now this here is an issue which I didn't think about, completely honest. But... Yes, this is an issue. This is legitimately an issue. How am I gonna solve this? Well, let's find out. Side, this. Where is this? Oh, wait. So this is not gonna go as I expected. Do it like this. Oh, it's starting to leak on the inside. Why and 
how come? Oh, actually, let's. Something, something. Five, so. Five. Mm. Not as sexy. Not nearly as sexy. Which means this is gonna have to get fixed. Okay, that's annoying. Um, hmm. This is one of those things that uh, I know I messed up. It's kind of difficult to fix retroactively, but I could still try. But it's obvious that there's something different. This might not even be that bad. Hmm. So. Now to look at it, I think it's actually a bit here. But all in all, I'm satisfied with how this looks. I never said I'm a good weapon uh, person. Like, yeah, this is completely different from the front and the back. But hey, if needed be, this can still be fixed. So. Not a horrendous issue, but a problem nonetheless. <sighs> Especially because it's gonna leak down here. Hum, 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 hum. this so should this yeah this should kind of be part of this so what can we do to make this look good should this have something beneath this I think it should like just a cover on this Could be lifted a little bit just in order. No, this is not all of them. Oh, okay. 
Okay. So a little bit higher, something like this. So now this thing can have a little bit of a lip. As in this is where it goes. Has some mechanical whatever, but it looks like it doesn't. But I don't think anybody's gonna pull from the bottom. So, this should be closed off. Huh, interesting, interesting. Okay, let's lower this. Delete this. Slowly but surely going to um, this. move this to a bit back. So it's kind of like this. Is this correct? I don't know. Is it? Actually it is. It's pretty darn similar. Very good. I'm happy with this. Very happy. And for the top part, this actually drives me crazy. So this is obviously going to be redone to a certain degree. Uh, <coughs> hmm. Now there, this seems to be very, very basic in its, well, in the bevel department, which, hmm. oh, it's mirror track. Looking at it from the top. And I don't need to. This is all nice and beautifully flat. Now this has a weird ass angle to this. It's like, yeah, this sh should, shoulda, coulda, woulda been like this. Let's just keep it, but. Hum, 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 hum. I've got a feeling like the top part is gonna have to be redone. Not its entirety, but most of it. So, okay, let's get the top rolling. So, actually, I think if I do this well enough, I don't think I'll need the um, solidify modifier. Hmm. It's time to look like something. Um, hmm. So, 
So the main reason why this is looking a bit off is because it has no bevel. Now, if I introduce a bevel to most of these places, I think it might actually break it. In some areas, the bevel is a bit more gentle. Like, I think if I did this, it's totally fine. Like this. Area like this should be like so. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, so this is not working. Have to do this, and now it should. Now it will work. Okay. Should be totally fine. Cool. So now let's just give these things. Actually, there still needs to be bevelled a little bit. And just as I'm doing this, I'm like kind of telling the thing top how much it should be built and what position. And I think this is actually going to work very, very well. Uh, or let's say a little bit less. Like, yeah, there's like no mistaking. This is how it should work. This is going to have to be lowered a little bit. Very cool, very cool. So now. I kind of feel like this should be its own piece completely. Because it's gonna make things so much easier for myself if it's a separate piece and it just goes inside the thing. So it's similar to how thickness would work here in this thing. I understand it doesn't have to be exactly how I'm thinking of, but it just has to connect. Okay. 
This is gonna be a problem. I'm gonna be a problem. Oh, got a, what is this? Why is this? Why aren't you? I don't need this, and neither do I need anything else that is in here, but... <laughs> in case I want to make this be animated, I, I would expect to have this be like, you know... Somewhat presentable. So I have to connect these things together. <laughs> Basically, this part, well, this, I don't, this, it's not gonna be animated, let's just be honest, it's not gonna be animated. I just needed to connect, um, well, basically everything else that is here, from this point on, can be connected. things so much easier for me. So, this all being connected, uh, now it's time to bevel the living daylights out of it, make sure I get literally everything, and give it this exact same amount of bevel, because it is going to be one thing. Let's 
two, let's see, let's see. Okay, so this here, this here, this here, mm, sure. Even if this is completely fucked, it doesn't matter, because all that matters is the bottom, the sides, and that's about it. So, let's try, it's supposed to look somewhat like this. Which would help if I could see. And as expected, this is exploding. Distance. Yeah, that's fine now. Good thing I checked that before I did anything. Mm -hmm. Just for the sake of whatever. So, save. Let's see. I'm gonna put a little two on this. I'll check for errors. Is there an error? 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 Mm -hmm. Not a single. Not even here. Wow, this is impressive. Okay, this is surprising, but it's. Done. This part is done. So I should what what is left is the bottom thing my fuck. This can be deleted. Push it forward. Can you tell? No, you can't. So, how does this look? It's basically just. Oh, no, can't. Fuck off. Nicely beveled, and as a nicely, I mean, just let's just uh, apply this. Yeah, that's it. This is pretty much it. So the only issue that I have is basically have to redo the top part of this. Which, it's gonna be a bit painful, but better realizing this now than later on. Uh, so yeah. Um, look at this back part. It's gonna use a little bit of more work. Actually, let's just finish it now. Lower it a little bit. Actually, let's lower it 
just here because it's just this part needs help. There we go. And this part is well comfortable. So this what about subdivision? Okay, that is a bit uncomfortable. So, of course, topology is gonna have to be fixed up here, but yeah, that's that is gonna be the, s the next thing that I'm gonna do. Because, of course, yeah, this doesn't have to have subdivision of any sort. Well, I think this is gonna be enough for now. Uh, Probably another stream in the after later in the afternoon. I got a few things to do. It's probably gonna be another two, three hour stream. But tomorrow there's only probably gonna be an afternoon stream. <coughs> Just because um well freelancing and work. So thanks for stopping by. Um as I said, another stream in the afternoon. And that's all I can give you. Uh until then. Take care, have fun, and hopefully see you at that time. See you, and goodbye. Oh well. So, you're gonna watch the stream itself. But, enjoy. See you.